Hello friends. So, how did you find the story? I am sure you must have enjoyed listening to it. Now, let's have a brief discussion on the story so that we can answer the questions given in the exercise. Clearing in the Sky is a short story written by an American author and a teacher, Jesse Stewart, specially known for penning excellent short stories for the youth. This story is the story of an old man with a weak heart but a strong iron will to live and withstand all the problems of his life. At the age of 70, he is as hale and hearty as a 22 year old because he does what he loves and that keeps his heart and himself alive. The narrator of the story is the son of this old man who grows yams, potatoes, tomatoes and other feed on clearings in the mountains. Despite all the warnings given by doctors, he keeps doing what he does and lives to be 70 years old. Many a times he ditched death because he was happy. Along with all this, he raised a family of five children. The old man leaves his own lands, which have trees or hickories, alfalfa and pine, and goes up on the mountains to clear patches of land where he can cultivate these vegetables. According to him, the new land will bring in new flavors. He and his wife had been doing this their whole life. They had cultivated various mountain tops after clearing them first. This is very reason the story has been titled Clearing in the Sky. Now let's discuss some difficult words and their meanings. The first one is 97 in the shade. This is the temperature recorded on the day mentioned in the story. A protest is an act of opposing or retaliating. You may recall reading a wisp of alfalfa. This is a thin stem of leafy green hay from the alfalfa plant. It is used as cow and horse feed. The next word brag means to boost or say something proudly. A sapling is a small plant that comes out of the seed. Brace means to prepare or to support. Bluff in the text means a headland that is broad but is difficult to climb because of its steepness. Curtly means with no courtesy, like curtly replied or impolitely replied. Loam is a kind of rich soil. Whiff means to inhale the scent of something. Then there is yam. These are orange colored roots that taste like potatoes but are stickier. A stalwart is a strong person, physically and mentally both. The good book is in reference to the Bible here. Three score years and ten means three sets of twenty years, which is sixty and ten, which adds up to become seventy. A bandana is a big piece of handkerchief. Black gum is a tree having light but tough wood. A mess of fox squirrels is a group of squirrels that are edible too. Alright, now since you know the meaning of the difficult words, you may reread the story again and you will find it easier. For question and answer, you must visit the next section of this lesson.